Welcome to the new profile series on Sugar Mama TV. This is a new section I'm opening up on the Sugar Mama website where I interview experts in certain fields and pick their brain as to you know what they think is valuable, what they think is is worth spending your hard-earned money on, and then we share all the all their ideas and um, tips and tricks with you. So when I do my Skype consultations. Um, with my subscribers and they email me through the budget, they're always really sheepish around how much money they spend on beauty products and cosmetic products. And they sort of delicately tiptoe around it and get quite apprehensive about showing me their sort of numbers of how much money they spend. And it's funny, I am the last person to judge on things like that. I myself love, <laughs> you know, if I'm feeling down or having a, I've had a bad day or a bad night, I love grabbing a new glossy lipstick and putting it on. It definitely perks up my spirits. And I'm all about, you know, buying what you value, appreciate, love, use and enjoy. Um, just don't waste your money on the, on the other things. Like focus on quality versus quantity. Mm. And, um, you know, I really try and incorporate a, a, a minimalism theme in my home so I don't have any weight or I minimize as much wastage as possible. So I'm very lucky to have Sigourney as one of my friends. And whenever I <laughs> see her, I always want to... As tack her with questions as, is this worth the money? Is this worth it? Is that, is that doesn't really work? And so Sigourney is um, a beauty expert. She has a huge amount of experience um, being um, working with Vogue as the beauty editor for how many years? Six years. Six years. Yes. And she also has the most beautiful, glamorous, chic website, Beauty Kate. Yes. And I always say, like, when I'm doing my makeup, I'm trying to Beauty Kate myself in the morning. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> using the yeah, word. <laughs> you're going to have it added to the dictionary, I can tell. Great. So I wanted to introduce everyone to Sigourney and her beautiful website and, and pick her brain and find out, you know, we need to feel good about ourselves. We need mm -hmm. to, you know, we need to step out the front door going, you know what, I feel okay, I feel good, I'm, I'm ready to take on the world. And I think part of that is, part of that self-love is nurturing, you know, your part of your mm. physical appearance, just like we eat healthy food and we exercise and, you know, get haircuts, you know, beauty and, and cosmetics, you know, forms part of that self love. Mm. And so I just want to pick your brain and go, okay, what, you know, tell me about yourself, tell me about the website that, and, and how it helps people and, mm. and inspires people to like spend time nurturing mm. themselves and, um, and yeah, Tell us what is worth forking out the cash for and where we can potentially save some money. <laughs> well, I agree with you completely, Kanna. I think beauty products, they, they really make a difference in the way we feel. And if we, if we feel like we're presentable to the world, then we really we, we approach everything with more confidence. Yeah. And it's all about having that confidence and that, that self-respect. Yeah. So definitely worth investing in beauty products. And with Beauty Kate, you know, part of the reason I started it was because I really felt that the beauty industry was very just kind of there was just so much choice and when you went any and, and so much miseducation and almost a little bit um not very accessible in many ways like I, I, with all the glossy imagery yeah, and yeah so I really wanted to make a place where women could talk about beauty and I, I shoot um, celebrities and also real women and inspiring women in their homes talking about their beauty routine so and we have a YouTube channel too so we're we're doing more video as well and you know different celebrities showing us how they do their makeup and things like that well I learned how to put mascara on <laughs> through your video I was I never put enough on now I'm like and I go back for round six yes more <laughs> coats more yeah, and more yeah. just keep going yes but in terms of products now um, it, it's possible to really spend on some products and save on the others and yeah. I think it's good knowing which ones? Well, this is what I want yeah. to know because, you know, if I'm going to fork out cash for a good night mm. cream or eye cream, I want to know, is it, worth, is it really worth yeah. it? Like, is how much of it is marketing and glossy packaging or how much actually goes, is going to like eradicate my wrinkles yes, and yes. sunspots? Well, I'm a really big believer in cosmeceuticals mm -hmm. and active ingredients. And I think um, the trick with them is really getting them prescribed for your skin. And in Australia, it's not really the done thing to go see a dermatologist, but in the US, it's like everyone has their dermatologist, mm. like they have a shrink. But on speed dial. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's it's actually, it, it makes sense because our skin is so important. You know, mm. we're presenting our face to the world and, you know, it's... It and is... we can't go back, like, you know, once our skin starts to... Yeah. You know, obviously we can try and reverse as much damage as possible, mm. but we can only go back a certain extent. Yeah, like we exactly. Well, there are treatments that yeah. can do a lot mm. as well. And that, we can't that's go back a whole... 20 years. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. So you really have to introduce, you know, good, good practices, mm. you know, early on in life and also just knowing which ingredients you need for your skin. So, mm. uh, as I said, cosmeceuticals are really important and they're not... 
they're not necessarily a lot more expensive than mm. the department store brands. And look, I think, um, you know, brands like you know, Aspect Doctor is one, Cosmetics is another one. This is great. Um, Rationale, um, Synergy Minerals. So these guys, like, you need to go and see, as I said, a, you know, a, a clinic, like a, a a cosmetic physician or um, or a medi spa mm -hmm. to get them prescribed, um, and the serums, you know, they will set you back about a hundred dollars per serum, and mm. it's all about these. They're very targeted ingredients, mm. so you don't you, you don't, don't need, need a large amount of product. No, do you? one okay. pump usually will do the so whole thing. So that will face. last. That should last a lot longer than it maybe four count for a cheaper brand that doesn't is run out within a month or two. Exactly, mm. but it, and you know that the um, the intensity of the ingredients is really high, so mm. the concentration of the actives is really high. So you you want to have an antioxidant serum, you want to have a really good sunscreen, you want to if you're worried about aging, um, a retin A or a, or a retinaldehyde or, or a vitamin A basically, and they're, and they're the real ingredients that actually work. And look, a lot of the department store brands are really beautiful, and I think um, you know definitely if you really love that luxe, you know, you might want to splurge on a La Prairie or a La Mer and mm. have that really indulgent night cream and yeah. and that can make you feel amazing and just like buying, you know, mm. a pair of mm. Louboutins. But, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, I think um, if you want that really active ingredients, then definitely making away, sure but... you have your serums. Yes. Okay. Um, and that said, you know, you could probably mix that with a more affordable cleanser. So Cetaphil mm. is a fantastic cleanser. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Wow, and like okay. so many people I've interviewed for Buticate, um, just use Cetaphil, makeup artists included, like people who really know their stuff. Mm. Um, also, Kraline or what they call um, in Australia is now called Sensi Bio by um, uh, just had a mental blank. It's the French pharmaceutical mm -hmm. brand, Bioderma. Thank you, <laughs> and it's fantastic. It's just a, a micellar water, so you wipe it on, and all your makeup comes off, and that's oh, not expensive wow. either. Mm. And Garnier do a good one too, which is is really excellent. So um, you can mix your you know affordable cleanser yep. with your really great targeted serums mm. a luxe night cream if you can afford yeah, it yeah. um in terms of makeup i would really really spend more on the, the complexion products because mm -hmm. it's all about the pigments and um, so when you say because i'm obviously not a beauty expert, what's a complexion <laughs> oh sorry product? um mm -hmm. like a foundation okay. a base um a powder a bronzer because okay. you really want the um as i said the pigments and the mineral uh, like the um the uh, like if there's any reflectors in there or any what's the word I want, luminizers in there. You want it to be really fine. You don't mm -hmm. want any disco ball glitter or anything. Oh, so right. Okay, you want things really to be really powdered and milled mm -hmm. very finely. Yeah. And, and, and subtle. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and generally, like, you know, for example, Giorgio Armani um, mm -hmm. Luminous Silk Foundation is one of my favorites. And yes, I've it's, seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's divine. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, but I would mix that with maybe... Um, a more affordable lipstick, for example, okay. mm. or a blush. Blush you can get away with, I think, because powder blushes it's hard to go wrong, and yeah. um, cream blushes are pretty a pretty safe formulation to mm. to do a you know a mass brand. And often the mass brands are are, are made in the same factories as the really? luxe brands. Often, wow. yeah, yeah. Okay, like, so what cup? Can you tell uh, us? I can. Well, I mean, I can tell you, for example, that L'Oreal. L'Oreal owns the <laughs> owns the world in terms mm. of the L'Oreal is a big big beauty company. Yep. They own Maybelline. They own L'Oreal Lux. So they, I, I'm not saying that YSL is made in the same factory Actually, as yeah. L'Oreal, but <laughs> they're owned by the same conglomerate. So a lot of the research that starts off in say um, one of the top end brands mm. will filter down into the oh, L'Oreal's okay. and the Maybellines. So. Mm. Um, and Garnier and things like that. So mm. often that you'll find that technology does make its way into the department. Um, yeah. But I imagine it would be a bit of a time frame. Yeah, like you, yeah. You want the cutting edge later. Exactly. Latest. And it starts um, off, yeah. you okay. know, at Longcom and then mm. maybe it, it appears later down the track at, you know, L'Oreal. Okay. So All right. that, that, that has happened. Um, and so, for example, L'Oreal, you know, Paris, this is just tr the tr True Match Concealer and it's fantastic. It's mm. like a... It's just like a crayon, and it's mm. and it works really well. It blends beautifully. And the products are really well priced. They are really mm. well priced, and Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I love that mascara. It's a mm. it's a winner. It's like they they don't mess with the formula. It's really. And you black. always see it on those shoots and magazines, like on the you know on, on the table with you know the Mac makeup products. Yeah. And it's always it's a, a staple. So you mm. don't have to spend a lot. Um, mm. and same with hair hair styling products as well. I don't think you need to spend a lot there. Like, one of the top hairsprays of the world is L'Oreal El Net, and it. It's cheap as chips, and mm -hmm. every stylist has it in their kit. Um, dry shampoo, Crayle, um, Chloran. Yes, know, I use that. Yes. Yeah, affordable mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So it's just about knowing the cult brands and, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, my question is because I, I have quite dry skin, so I have to, like, um, lather myself mm -hmm. in morning and night in a good um, – or in a, a body, body moisturizer. And I am constantly buying, you know, 
body moisturizer and I go through it quite quickly. Yeah. Am I better off to spend a bit more money and get a, a product where I don't have to necessarily use it twice a day for a body, a body lotion, or am I, you know, is it or should I just stick with the cheap and cheerful um, uh, body lotion products? Like, I will always think about body body products as being. The, the most amount of skin absorbing mm -hmm. because your skin is your largest organ mm. and if you're using all over then it's going to absorb a lot more than just say using it on your face so I am a little wary of um, the really really cheaper brands mm -hmm. because they can use um, mineral oils and just fillers like mm -hmm. cheaper fillers and, and they're not as you know, they don't necessarily try to use the more natural version. Mm, so, okay. um, I so what, what product do you use? I really like, I mix it up. I, I really like um, Milk by Lindy Klim. Mm -hmm. I like um, Burt's Bees. Um, Sukin is fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. looking for those mid-range, affordable, you know, affordable but very natural brands. Mm -hmm. I love body oils. I'm like obsessed I, with you, body oils. You gave me some beautiful body oil, actually. Yeah. Dior one. Yeah, it's stunning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it mm -hmm. makes such a difference to put it on before bed and that mm -hmm. will actually last. If you if you put body oil, oil or facial oil on on damp skin, it locks the moisture from your shower in. Ah, so, okay, that so will, I need to yeah, moisturise on damp skin yeah, as soon as yeah. I jump out the shower. And okay. same with, um, oh, the other thing I, meant, I wanted to mention with skin is rosehip oil and, yes. and that's I you know that. really mm. affordable mm -hmm. use that on just cleanse skin when your skin's still damp and it will lock in the moisture okay really beautifully all right amazing thank you so much no well, problem um make sure you check out sigourney's website beautycade and she's also on um, instagram and obviously, youtube and youtube <laughs> and facebook and yeah we're on uh, everywhere Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you check out uh, sigourney's social media feed and um thank you so much for sharing this with Thanks, you Kim. and i look forward to doing more videos with you and I'm picking your brain further. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We'll catch you on the next video soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.